Welcome to the Tata Technologies Autodesk Inventor 2010 Hands-On Test Drive. This first video is going to be an introduction and an overview of installing your Autodesk Inventor 2010 software and some of the steps to follow as you're working through the test drive. The PowerPoint that you're seeing on the screen is just one of the files that's going to come with your um, test drive kit. Some of the things you're going to find in your um, zip file is a, just a PDF file. Some of the top 10 reasons to move from maybe an AutoCAD to the Autodesk Inventor um, software. Obviously, the PowerPoint you're currently looking at in this video, this PowerPoint is going to take you through the topics that are going to be covered in each exercise. Also, labeling on those PowerPoint slides of what video is important to those exercises. You're also included in your zip file, of course, are the test drive exercise files themselves. As I mentioned, there will be an instructional video to guide you through the test drive exercises as you're working through it. So in many cases, there is no need to actually have the hands-on test drive booklet. And of course, I'm going to talk to you about how you can gain free support no matter what phase of the test drive you're in. The first area to think about, of course, is just installing your Inventor trial software. In some cases, you may be a current user of Inventor, and there may not be a need for installing the current software itself. But if there is, there's just a few rules you need to think about. You know, making sure that your machine is up to date on its service packs, having obviously the Inventor 2010 software loaded. If you previously used a 2010 beta Inventor software, you'll need to remove that from your system. And if you happen to have DWG TrueView 2010. Once you have your software, you want to start your installer and just follow the easy commands. You may have the DVDs that make up the software itself or you may download them which I'll talk about in a few moments. You can say or keep your configuration set settings as default. If you don't currently own the software, again you have a few choices. One is going to the PowerPoint that again that was attached to your zip file and you can select the link that is on this slide. It will take you out to autodesk.com where you can request a product trial of the Autodesk Inventor 2010 software itself. Also, you can request your software from us here at Tata Technologies. We will be more than happy to help you with free support while you're going through your hands-on test drive. And I'll show you how to get to this area. Again, your zip file will also contain, if by choice, another way of going through the exercises. There will be an on-screen um, booklet you can basically utilize. I would suggest and highly suggest using the PowerPoint with video for your best means and best results. We'll go ahead and take a look at these items. And one last item. Again, I mentioned free support. And I'm going to show you how to get to this also at the same time. You can contact us at Tata Technologies at our CAD Geek blog site. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of these areas for our free support. Again, everything's going to start off with your free support, or if you need to request a trial of the software, please visit us at askthecadgeek.blogspot.com. From this user interface, you can request your free support. Also, if you are just an Autodesk user of maybe the Alias product, the Inventor product, any of the data management, AutoCAD, AutoCAD Electrical, or even AutoCAD Mechanical, you'd want to come to the site almost on a daily basis to check out the tips and tricks that we post here. But getting to your free support, again, if you need to download the software, or if you have questions while working through the test drive, you can come up to the upper right-hand corner here and select the Tata Tech Technologies CAD Geek team. This will take you out to our website and you want to go to our CAD Geek Center. From this area, 
you can come down and ask a question. I do preference that when working with the test drive and you like free support, when working with that test drive, no matter if it's installation, working through the exercises, or a next step when you're done and determine that Autodesk Inventor is a great fit, preference all your questions with test drive and then your question. And that will make sure that we get to you and respond to you as quick as possible. The next video that I will be showing and working with is just a quick introduction to Autodesk Inventor and a few of the setup processes needed once we have our software loaded. Talk to you in a few minutes.